welcome to Winamac TV. This is Tim Gerhardt, my partner, the captain, Shay Cast, and we're hanging out in the consulate here at Winamac at Captain's Court and uh, excited to watch some volleyball. A conference game tonight between Caston, uh, Lady Comets, and the Winamac Lady Warriors. Shay, how are you feeling tonight? It's nice to be in the consulate. You know, it kind of is. We get the cushy chairs. It's more uh, of a winter thing, but... Uh, yeah, it's nice to get out of the frat house and be in the consulate for a while. I know. Once. Yeah, we kind of were back and forth a little bit. So, so Shay, I know you've been spent. You've spent a lot of time researching this game, uh, the matchup. And yeah, you got a lot in this. So, tell me what you've learned about the uh, some of the history between these two teams. Well, I don't know much about the history, but I do know the comments are five and eight this year. <laughs> well, you know that's something. <laughs> they're they're uh, one and zero in the conference. They beat Culver in three. Um, just going off Max Preps, it looks like uh, Madison Smith is their uh, big hitter. She leads with 109 kills, uh, followed by Isabel Scales with 78. Um, Smith has 130 digs, um, leads the team. And uh, so, yeah, she's she's probably one we're going to keep an eye on. Scales is uh, second in digs with 111, followed by uh, was Addison Zimpleman with 89. So... Um, on the other side for Winnemac, we're uh, four and fifteen, one and one in the conference. We beat Culver and then lost to Knox a week ago. Um, Alyssa Villanueva leads the team with 120 kills, followed by Mackenzie Hines with uh, 54 kills. The thing is, Mackenzie missed several games, um, so numbers are a little deceiving. Um, Alyssa leads the team in digs with. 136, followed by Chloe Roush with 89, and Regan Caston with 56. Um, assist is Kaya Campbell with 183. Uh, second is Chloe Roush with 60. Uh, serve receive, uh, Alyssa Villanueva 198, Regan Caston 115, and Chloe Roush 114. So that's the stats I have. So that's I, pretty I blew, impressive. I blew those away right out of the gate. Yeah, so. well, now all that work, it, it boiled down to about uh, 45 seconds. So, of. <laughs> so now we're just going to have to talk. Well, you know what? I think that was really impressive. i got to tell you, I'm really looking forward to this matchup. You know, just looking at the the rosters and not me not knowing much about either team, if Winamax at not at full strength right now, um, but if you look at their, their standard varsity roster, it's – two seniors and a pile of juniors mm -hmm. on the roster. Now we have a couple um, sophomores and a couple of sophomores, although it says that they're juniors. Yeah, they're All right, that's deceiving. Though. But a more, an older uh, group of kids, mm -hmm. um, but maybe not with as much varsity experience. Then you go over to the cast side and you got a real mix. So I keep thinking about this, this group of lady comments that we saw when we uh, broadcasted the Winnemac cast in uh, softball game this spring. This sophomore class, the incoming sophomore class for Caston, they have some players on there, uh, Shay. They're just all around athletes. This Isabel Scales, uh, Addison Zempelman. Um, I mean, there's several. You know, there's several others, but those are the ones that jump out to me that I recall mm -hmm. from from, uh, softball. from softball. And every once in a while, these little schools get a special class, and you just kind of wonder. Um, you know, I don't think historically Winamax lost the cast in a whole bunch of times. Probably not. And I'm not expecting that Winamax loses tonight either. However, I got a feeling that this is going to be a, a group okay. of young ladies to, to pay attention to over the next I, couple I, of years. I'm expecting a good match tonight. We got we got Jerry Baker officiating. Well, so. you know, he is the peacock, and I'm glad to see him tonight. Got to see Jerry on Tuesday night. Yep. Yeah, I had a little chat with him after the game. It was nice I to did. see Jerry. I, yeah. I like Jerry. I think he does a good job. I haven't had a chance to talk to him today, but I'm sure I will at some point. You'll get an opportunity. Um, so we got a, a new look to our screen. So one thing I'm kind of excited about, Shay, we have uh, two different cameras set up with two different views, and we don't have that old scoreboard camera. So we actually are going to have – I will probably mess it up periodically because <laughs> I will be responsible for updating the score along the way. Um, so – Feel free to, to reach out and correct me <laughs> at some point. Um, and uh, anyway, no, I'm just I'm just excited to be here. Well, I mean, you can just look, glance up at the scoreboard and correct it. I... So just looking around the gym, it's early. Um, not a lot of fans here yet. It'll be interesting to see how well Caston travels. Um, I don't see Bill Scott yet. Um, I'm kind of worried about Bill. Yeah, I um, see Aaron and Tasha. Yeah, I see I see Aaron and Tasha too, and I don't see Bill in the house yet, so I'm a little concerned about that. 
He'll probably make it. Uncle Randy's not here yet. Yep, your Uncle Randy's uh, not here. <clears throat> but So, yeah, we had been getting a pretty good crowd for volleyball so far this year. So uh -huh. hopefully that continues. So what's it been like? So for those, I'm, I, I'm guessing most people, if you're from Winnemac and you're watching the broadcast, you know that the coach, the volleyball coach here at Winnemac is Shay's wife. Um, she may be watching tonight. Um, She's probably watching air. right now. Right. So we got to kind of do we got to be careful with what we say? I don't or think so. You think we just I, let yeah, it rip? I th yeah, I think we let it rip. All right. I don't think we need to be careful. <laughs> okay. I might be careful, but you don't have to be. Right. Okay. That's, that <laughs> <laughs> so how, how has the season been um, from your perspective this year, Shay? I know you've um, – I watched the game uh, a couple of nights ago. Uh, pretty good. Um, match here at home, but you've you've attended all the games this year for the most part. Yeah, uh, what's you know, the what's the, the team looking like? Well, I think the first eleven games was uh, just kind of a um, just throw a team together so we can get a you know get a team on the floor and play. Um, I think maybe there was six girls, seven girls on uh, varsity. Um, not a lot of varsity experience, but you know they held their own and and uh, it was great experience for you know some girls. Um, I think Ali Campbell as a freshman came in and, and really stepped up and did a nice job um so now we're seems like the varsity we've got a couple that aren't that aren't here but now the jv's struggling to find find some girls because of quarantining so yeah. they i think they only had five so you know of all of our sports this year it seems like volleyball has been riddled jv football and volleyball really yeah. struggled this year with uh contact tracing and kids getting quarantined and uh gosh have they had a full um I think like for their one full game. team together I think for one game, one game. So okay, and that's tough too. You know, you, you could tell the timing was a little off, and it might have been two games, but and volleyball is a a big part of the game of volleyball from my observation. I'm clearly no expert in the sport, um, but that chemistry that happens on the floor and being able to anticipate what the girl next to you is going to do. So being able to play with a group of girls to where you get mm -hmm. to know not just them as people and feeling comfortable with them as people, although that's important. Right. It's also, I kind of know what Kai is going to do next to me when the ball is in this general area. Right. And you just kind of get a feel for uh, when you play with girls over a period of time, I, I would imagine. Yeah, it's, it's just like playing, you know, playing softball. You know, when I played, I, there, I played left center, the guy that played left. We didn't even have to talk. We just knew where the other one's going to be. So that's just that just comes with playing together. And uh, that's, I think that's where we're at right now. It looked a little smoother was it Tuesday night we were here at times it looked pretty smooth so hopefully they can keep building on that there are definitely flashes yeah right? yeah um it all starts with that uh you know that initial hit and uh then set and we have some pretty big hitters I mean between Alyssa Villanueva and uh McKenzie McKenzie Hines I mean we have two girls that can hit the ball hard yeah over the net Haley's came off the bench, or yeah, she has hit the ball pretty not hard off the too. Bench. She was just quarantined for a while. She she did set, did some nice things the other night. Yeah, so Winnemac has that potential. Yeah, you know, I tell you, Lauren Friedel. You yeah. wouldn't think, you know, being I don't know what Lauren is. Does it say five three? Um, she was hitting it pretty hard the other night. Yeah, so she's got a pretty good uh, um, vertical. Yeah. So we can, we can get it down. It's just just a matter of, uh, like you said, Tim, getting the pass to the setter and getting a good set and getting that timing down. Yeah. Well, and I'm really excited, too. You know, I hope Rich Zider's watching tonight because we have some, some replays. You know that what? I should just reach out to Rich and let him know that we're going to have some replays. Some Rich Zider replays. I think that that's probably important um, that he knows <laughs> uh, that. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to him right now. <laughs> So I think we're going to jump over to a, a couple quick uh, words from our sponsor before we get rolling here in Winnemac. And uh, we'll be right back. Please rise and remove your hats for the singing of the National Anthem.
Well, that was pretty impressive. Tim. Yeah, who is that that sang the national know. anthem? So let's see if we can hear the. Uh, to remind me to do this uh, okay well you're what's going to happen is you're really going to get into the game and then you're going to forget and then you'll, you can catch up though yeah you know what i'm thinking our banner is kind of cutting it into is, our it's view definitely cutting into our view we might i might have to stand up we might just cut it down you think how important is know, you got a you got a knife on you i didn't bring one tonight okay. i usually have something yeah i don't have one. Oh, really no well that's weird that neither of us have one <laughs> Well, Fritz has one. Yeah. We really need Old it. mustachio. Mustachio's probably got a knife over there. He, <laughs> he might pull out a boot knife or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we're ready to rock here. Like How is old mustachio? He's good. He's good. It's good to see him out and about. Looks like number nine, Isabel Scales, is going to start the serving off. Serves it to Kaya. Mack from the back row. Almost dumped it in there. It's actually a pretty well-placed hit. Yeah. Melissa to the back row. It's going to be deep. I'm going to go to win a match. Madison Smith on the deep shot. She had some mustard on that. where that phrase came from, mustard. I don't know. I didn't even know it was a thing when I said it. I'm like, does that yeah. sound right, mustard? Yeah, Have I you think heard she that had before? some mustard, velocity. Okay. Yeah, okay. no, that's right. Wow. That was a pretty good uh, possession by Kasten. Yeah. And that gets the free ball over, and here comes Smith again. She's going to get that one out. So Smith missing a little deep, but she can hit it pretty good. Yeah. It's not hitting her spots. She is a senior for one, Kasten. One of two seniors in Kasten's squad is Kaya Campbell. Serves it. Scales. Going to hit it to number four off her hand, Alexa Finke. Winamac with an early lead. Let's see how our uh, serve cam works here. <laughs> are you, is that where are you clicking over? Yeah, well, I just I forgot to okay, really. The, okay. first, the first serve of hers I didn't capture. So Nice serve. Kai had a really good game on Tuesday night. She did. She's going to push that one to Haley. Adding her good hit. Nice dig. Wow. Melissa, great job by Kasten. Here we go again. Great volley by both wow. teams. Yeah, this is exciting. Good volleyball. Uh -oh. Smith. Party ball. Yep. Smith's going to get. She was over the line now. Yep. Miss Dougie Fresh coming into the game. That was an exciting volley. Yeah. The set was just a little off, and Kasten had trouble handling it. I think she just stepped over the line. Party ball, Alyssa, and they're going to get Kasten in the net. It looked like number one, Bailey Harness. Winamac, five to nothing. So... I don't know what, what they're arguing. 
The gym gets really quiet it does when coaches talk to the <laughs> officials in volleyball. It's really interesting. The, the, the peacock wasn't wanting to hear it, I don't think. I don't know. He's so Cassie's going to call a timeout with the Winnemac Warriors up five to nothing. You think we ought to try a timeout? Yeah, we can. All right, let's do one quick. We'll be right back. See, I think we're playing one right now, but we may not be. Did you hear back from Rich? No. But I did hear from Heather. Uh oh. Here. Sarah Paulson, she teaches Spanish, but she's watching the national anthem. Wow. And she likes the serve cam. Heather does. Oh, okay. Well, you should say something about that. Welcome back to Winnemac TV. <clears throat> Winnemac with an early lead on the Lady Comets. Here comes Kaya Campbell again with her sixth serve in a row. It's a good one. She gets it over. Reagan, a little bit of a long pass and Harness with the, gets the party ball going. So number four. So did I hear correctly that you forgot the party ball sign? I did. I did. I was, you know, I got a lot going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I forgot the party ball sign. Mickey <laughs> serve taken by Reagan. McKenzie from the back row. It's going to be just a little deep. So the coaches kill seemed to it did. benefit Kasten with two unanswered. Pinky back to serve again. Serves it to Chloe Roush. Nice pass. Melissa get blocked by Pinky. Melissa gets it over. Good placement by Alyssa. Good effort by Kasten. Try to dig that one. Number eight, Kinsey Mollenkoff coming into the game for the Comets. Haley adding her back to serve. Haley had a really nice night serving the other night, Tuesday. Good serve there by Haley. Smith puts it down. Nice job by McKenzie Hines. Just couldn't quite get it in bounds. Reagan's going to come back in for Haley. Six to three in favor of the Warriors. Harness served to Hines. Comes Alyssa. Nice job by McKenzie, and that's going to be out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. Make it seven to three. How are you doing on the score so far? Are you keeping up? Well, you up? know, I'm, I, I'm trying to do something else, too. Okay. I got a little behind. I'm glad that you pointed that out, though. I, I'm very interested. Melissa Villanueva with the serve. Kaya right there. Nice defense by Kaya. Oh, she couldn't quite get it. Oh, she tried. I think she tried to just not dunk it in there and couldn't quite do it. Number five, Madison Smith back to serve for the Comets. Smith's going to lose the ball. He's going to get it up. And it's going to be a block. Seven to five in favor of the Warriors. Nice job by Hines. And point to the Warriors. Chloe Roush back to serve. Take a quick look at that one. I'm going to miss. There we go. It's going to be out. Ooh. Okay. 15 into the game. Annie Harsh. And number four. Looks a Finky back in. Ball just in. Yeah. 
I think, it touched, I think it touched Kaya's leg. Okay. That's deep, but Cornerback's gonna get it over. And they're gonna tie the game, the Lady Comets at eight. Serve to Kaya. And the Warriors get it in. Wow. Scales put that one down. 9-8 in favor of the Lady Comets. Harsh is going to serve that into the net. Ties it back up at 9. Lauren Friedel back to serve. Haley Attinger comes in for Reagan, the libero. The bro. The bro. Nice serve by Lauren. Smith out of the back row. And good effort. By yep, good him. effort. Number seven out of the game, the bro for the Comets. And Haley Adinger's going to be blocked. Comets up by two, 11 to nine. Number six, Abby Williamson, senior. Nice job by Kaya. So that'll go to the Lady Warriors. Lady Warriors chasing one. Jewel Connor will come in to serve. Jewel's a junior. Hit that into the net. And the ball serve will go back to the comments. It looks like scales will go back. Scales serves it. Reagan. Who are you waving it. to, Captain? It's waving to some fans. Uh, Marsha Smith over. On the other side, watching the game, looks like Top Hat's making an appearance. Yep. Thirteen ten in favor of the Comets. Scales back to serve. Chloe Roush going to return it out of bounds. Looks like Coach Burnell is going to take a timeout. I think it's a good timeout to take. All right. I like it. Looking for the coach's kill. So Winamax starting out five to nothing. Um, looked really hot out of the gate, but I got to tell you, this casting team is pretty relentless. Pretty, they didn't show solid. any. Uh, yeah. Usually, if you get five points out of the gate, like down, mm -hmm. um, that can impact girls emotionally, and they didn't seem phased by it a bit. Shay. Definitely not. They uh, a really solid team. Winamax looked like maybe on a couple of those. They got a little mixed up where they were supposed to be. Very small student section for the Warriors tonight. You think football practice is going on and stuff? or? Mm, yeah, probably. We have had some, some really nice student sections. Yeah, just the other night we did. Yeah. And this is a bigger game. Right. Conference matchup. Scales serving. And Jewel Connor's going to get the ball up, gets it to Alyssa. Okay, Campbell's going to 
Hit it, couldn't get it over, so Scales still serving. Sixteen ten in favor of the Comets. Nice pass by Jewel. Haley hits it back row. It's going to be deep. I think he's going to hit it deep, and Winnemac will get the serve back. Chasing five. It's like Kyle serve. Kyle is <coughs> the. Uh player from Winnemac that spun off those first five points. See if she can repeat that, Shay. Nice serve. Good job by the Comets. That's going to be just out of bounds. Number four, Alexa Finke. Alexa a sophomore. And she'll go back to serve. Number 24, Delaney Lowry coming into the game. Junior setter. Job by Alyssa. And now go to the Warriors. Haley adding her back to serve. Just out of bounds. And Bro will come back in for the Warriors. Winamac chasing six. Harness back to serve. Harness a junior. This pass by Lauren. Back to Chloe Rouse. Blocked. Good job by the Warriors. Yeah, Chloe did a nice job uh, being ready for that. Nice job by Jewel. Nice hustle by the Warriors. That one's going to be out of bounds. So it's 20 to 12. And Winamax going to take another timeout. We'll jump over to a quick break. We're going to be right back. Okay. Welcome back to Winamac TV. We're underway. It seems like a – well, no, we're not. I cut that thing short. Cassie was really excited <laughs> to get back out there, and, and we still got 30 seconds left. Okay. So we really need to get that clock on here. How do oh, we do that? I got Steve on the line? or No, he's doing something else, <laughs> I think. Jewel. Melissa's going to hit that out of bounds. 21-12 in favor of the Lady Comets. You know, Winnemac just off their, their timing. You can tell their timing's off a little just bit. Just a little bit. Number three, Macy Hinderleiter into the game. Another sophomore. There's a party ball. Nice job by the Lady Warriors. Oh, good effort by the Warriors. 22-12 in favor of the Comets.
Loomis is going to get that one down. Another nice job by the Comets. Another nice volley, Tim. Yeah, it is. 23-12. I got to tell you one thing that I'm impressed with by the Comets on that particular volley, set of volleys <clears throat> is the communication. You mm -hmm. can hear them talking to each other, and you can tell they you know they they played together as a team for a while. This pass by Jewel. It's gonna be a little deep. So Work. Winnemac ready to get something going here. Yep. You got Alyssa Villanueva with the serve. Have a Jerry Baker <laughs> has something to say. <laughs> Everybody heard Jerry. Yep. Nice serve by Alyssa. Might have been out, but a little close. Pretty close. Good job by Kaya. Mackenzie Hines. They're going to get a... Uh, they're going to get somebody in the net. Number six, that is Abby Williamson, senior. Be out of bounds. 15 to 23 in favor of the Comets. So how about Alyssa just serve out? What do you say? Oh, hey, you know what? We'll, we take that. It's going to go back to the Warriors. The Warriors making a little run here, Tim. I'm for it. This of Villanueva, thinking about vanilla wafers. <laughs> it's going to be back to the Warriors. There we go. Number five, Madison Smith you know coming what? into the game. I did not cut that back to full screen. See, I'm still getting used to this. Yeah, it's a new software. It's a learning curve. Yeah, I just really need feedback from Rich Zider to, you know, <laughs> know what I need to do different. Well, if he was watching, he'd be giving feedback. I know he would, and I appreciate it. Kenzie, nice hit. Job by Scales. And Smith's going to hit that in. And that 18 to 23 in favor of the That almost looked like a carry to me. I don't yeah, see that called a lot. You don't, but that, yeah, that did definitely look like a carry. So Cassie's going to take a timeout. Looking for the coach's kill. You know what? Winnemac putting a little pressure at the mm -hmm. end of the, uh, the first set here, which is a good thing, to, regardless of how the, the first set turns out. Winnemac's got some momentum built up, and they know they can put some points up against this Comets team, and that's important. Yeah, they can look back and say, hey, you know what? The coaches can say, hey, we didn't give up. We kept after them, and, and we could have easily just folded that game, or that set. Back row of Comets, really solid. I mean, they're digging on that back row, Che. Yeah, the whole team, really. So looks like Coach Burnell's going to take the full. It's a little shout out to Coach Heather Caston, who's watching from watching. the She's confines of a, a quarantine room and something. Yeah, isolation. you have a name for it? Yeah, like, it's the isolation. She's got the hole upstairs. The isolation chamber. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out to her. Hope she's feeling better. Bam! Nice. They're gonna get. Who are they gonna get? The Winnemac in the net. Like number 10, I don't see a 10 out there. I don't either. I didn't see anybody in the net, but yeah, you know, Jerry Baker is right on it's it. It's not so. moving at all. Nice job by the Lady Warriors. Hit by Fredell. Wow, great job. Abby Williamson really did the job there. She did. And that's going to do it, 18 to 25. 
for the first set. Let me see if we captured any. I, I tried to capture one, one or two replays. Let's see if that happened. Well, that was ex exciting. Nothing else, Tim. It was exciting. So let's jump over to this replay. I don't know which one this is. We're going to give it a shot. All right. Got the, got the mule up here in the consulate the with us. The mule's her. here. What's up, mule? Hey, we're going to get you on camera. Hold on a second. We're gonna, so there's a, I don't know what that replay was. I don't think it was a very good one. So we got the mule up here in the consulate. He's checking, checking things out down on the floor. How you doing tonight, mule? Living the dream. You know what? We... We're glad you come visit us in the consulate about every time we do a game, and we, we're always glad to see you, uh, Chris. We think you do a really good job here at the school, and you're a great asset to, uh, to Winnemac. So, yeah, you look out for these girls too, don't you? Or, and kids. So, yep, yep. Well, it's good to see you tonight. I don't see your – are you about ready to pull that mule face mask out? I don't know. I don't want to. You don't want to unless you got to, right? <laughs> I gotcha. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for coming up and saying hi. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> Always good to see the mule yeah, so up in the consulate. You too, buddy. See you, mule. <clears throat> Always good to see old Chris. So I called him the the first time. He told us when uh, we started doing this, he'd come up in the consulate and he'd say, "Just call me the mule." Uh, All right. It's kind of stuck. <clears throat> well, it's, I mean, it's his nickname. Yeah, I see him out around town, and I just refer yep. to him as the mule. Call him the mule. And, uh, you know, it's funny. that I was walking through the hall um, soon after we started calling him that. I was walking through the hallways with my son, and I said, hey, mule. <laughs> and he said, hey. And, and my son looked at me. He goes, did you just call him the mule? <laughs> and I said, yeah. He goes, isn't that disrespectful, Dad? And I said, it would be, except he told us to call him that. <laughs> he goes, oh, okay. So, and I think he'd appreciate it if you called him that yeah. too. So, <laughs> what is this year four or five for us doing these I think games? It's the fourth year. Fourth year. I think so. Or maybe it's the fifth. I wonder what Chadro's doing tonight. I don't know. How's the hammer? What's he up to? Well, I don't. I bet he's not watching. Okay. <laughs> He should be. I bet he'll be making a visit to Winnemac over fall be, it's break. It's been a while, you think? Yeah, I think he's he's due. He needs to come back around his uh, hometown a little bit. But old Chadra is probably getting his uh, his snow plows ready and <laughs> and. Uh, well, you know, we'll have to flash his number for uh, snow removal. You know, I know. Maybe we should do a commercial for him. Yeah, Compton snow removal. I think that that would be good. I like it. And mowing, if if you need your yard mowed, but mainly snow removal. You know, and, and he'll do, Chad, will, he'll, he'll come shovel your sidewalk just just for the fun of it. Oh, yeah, he likes doing that stuff. So that definitely makes him happy. So we're getting ready for set number two. Uh, Kasten does hang on, but Winnemac put um, up a fight. It, they did. They got something to build on. Yeah, really really good hit that by uh, Harness, the junior. They're going to go up one to zero in this second set. So still got some barking going on. Yeah, over a little there. barking. Nice job. Nice hit by Chloe. Good dig by number five, Madison Smith. Nice job by wow. Alyssa. See, that's what Alyssa can do. I'd like to see yeah. more of that. She can she can put a hurt on a ball. Had a really good set and uh, was able to do something yeah. with it. Yeah, she had a huge running start. Haley adding her back to serve. Nice pass by McKenzie. There's Chloe Roush. And they're going to give that to the Warriors. So the Warriors are going to go up 2-1. to one. Lady Warriors playing with a little fervor to start the <laughs> oh, uh, nice. second set. I like it. 
Tim breaking out fervor. Is that the first time? Uh, I might, we might have used it during a football I game. Think you, I think you might have brought it up during the football game periodically. Wow, that ball oh, is wow. way up there. And Warriors are going to oh, almost, almost recover. Good effort. So I think that we, we had talked before, regulation has to, the ceiling has to be 23 feet, right? So you, you were looking up some rules a couple years ago, and well, I think that's what I don't it, recall them, but I think you're right, Shay. Nice job by McKenzie. McKenzie out of the back row. Smith, deep, it's going to be out of bounds. Line judge is doing a nice job for the Warriors tonight. That's going to bring Alyssa back to serve. Oh, McKenzie almost had the block. Number six into the game, Abby Williamson, the senior. Still barking. Yep. <clears throat> Good nice job by, by the Warriors. He's Williams a nice hit. Three to four in favor of the Comets. Gonna be in, right in the corner. It's number one, Bailey Harness. McKenzie from deep. From Smith puts it down, and Reagan couldn't return it. Well, somebody was in the net. Seven to three in favor of the Comets. And Coach Brunel is going to call a timeout. We'll jump to a timeout. Back at Winamac TV. Tim Garrett, my partner, the captain. Shea Cast and broadcasting live from the consulate here at Captain's Court in Winamac. <laughs> and uh, I'm ready for Winamac to get a, a coach's kill here and start yeah. uh, racking some points up, Shea, because they can do it. We've they seen can. some some really good flashes and some good stretches. Um, and Just uh, putting it all together. Yep, you so know, they're going to have to handle the uh, harness. We'll see how harness does with their serve after the coaches kill, and away we go. Nice job by Kaya. Not, Kaya's all over the place out there. Great job by the Comets. It's coming right back to Smith. She, what, what, I don't know what, the, what he got. In the net by yeah. number 10 again. I don't know what that means. We don't have a number 10. Yeah. But we're not sure about that. I didn't see anybody. The play wasn't no. at the net. No, maybe she stepped over the line or something. I'm not sure. Well, Jerry's seeing something he doesn't like. It's the third time he's called that. Smith's going to put it down. Nice. Oh. Did they get a lift? That's Coach, the first Coach, lift of the night. Yeah, Coach Brunell didn't like the call. Coach Brunell, ex, an ex-official, so she knows the rules. Ah, kind of hit it in no man's land, one of those broken plays, and uh, it's found a hole. 10 to three in favor of the Comets. Lady Warriors really struggling with Harness's serve. Mm 
Wow. Nice hit. Strong by, nice hit by, hit by Lauren. Lauren. Oh, wow. The Warriors will get the serve back, chasing seven. And be Chloe Roush back to serve. Williamson gets up and she's going to put it down. Senior Madison Smith back to serve for the Lady Comets. Nice serve. Really unable to return it. To bring Haley Addinger into the game. Fourteen four in favor of the Comets. Ball went out of the gym. It's like the top hat has my mom cornered up there. <laughs> it's gonna be in. Just kind of yeah. There's not. It's like the wind's kind of knocked out yeah. of them right now. So somebody somebody's got to step up and make a play here. There's a pass. Scales. That's going to be blocked, but blocked out of bounds. Seventeen or eighteen four in favor of the comments. And Coach Brunell is going to take a timeout. I think we'll jump over to a quick timeout ourselves, Shay. We'll be right, right. back. Welcome back to Winnemac TV. Tim Gearhart with my partner, the captain, Shay Caston. Coach Brunell um, trying to get the coach's kill. All right, so I got a little bit of uh, info on what what uh, Jerry's saying. So the general says, let me read this, when he's calling the whatever he's calling up there, the fist represents number 10, and the one equals 11. Oh, so it's number 11. Yes. So Williamson just missed that one. So yeah, so the fist is 10. I didn't know that. That's really good. Thanks, Heather. Yeah, so now we, lear we learned something. Yeah, the general hooked us up with some knowledge. Here comes uh, Lauren Friedel. Nice serve by Lauren. Wow. She put some smoke on yeah, it. Yeah, great serve. Good serve. Another good one, yep. And that's blocked and had everybody in place, and then that block just kind of dropped right in front of Chloe. Going to bring uh, Annie Harsh back to serve. Annie is a sophomore. I'm marking. Good hit by yeah. Kai Campbell. Couldn't take advantage of the party ball. It's going to make it 20 to 6. Yeah, I really thought that that set that was going to be over the net favored Winnemac. Yeah. And uh, Cashin just went up there and kind of sealed the deal. Oh, 
Lotha from the back row. Nice hit. Nice block by Mack. So Mackenzie Hines with the big block makes it. That was good. Seven to twenty. So Jewel Connor is going to come into the game for the Lady Warriors. Serve. That was. Number one back into the game, and number three, Macy Henderleiter, into the game. That ball is going to be out of bounds. 22 7 in favor of the Comets. Back row. Gonna get. Jerry's been calling that a lot. It's been a foot or something. I didn't see who he called it on, do you? No. Nice serve. Wow. 24-7. <clears throat> Addison Zimpleman getting some velocity behind that serve. Right, it's going to be into the net, so it's going to make it 24 to 8. So Winamac's cheer block is on the left of your screen with the <laughs> ace. We have three guys, four. <laughs> And they have, what, 20? Yeah. Um, it's going to be served out of bounds, and that'll do it for the second set. The Comets win 25 to 8. So we're going to jump over to a uh, word from one of our amazing sponsors here. Let's pick one. What do you think? Should we go with. Uh, Let's go with these guys. We'll be right back. back. Yeah, welcome back to Winnemac TV. Tim Garrett, my partner, the captain, Shay Caston. The uh, you know something if you're watching at home and um, you are a small business owner or you work uh, for a company that spends some marketing dollars, um, reach out because we have a really really great deals on uh, marketing. It's really inexpensive, and we've been reaching a pretty significant audience mm -hmm. um, so far this year with our uh, broadcast. So, got to reach out. All of your 100% of your money that you uh, put into that goes directly to the school. Um, so, a lot of people might wonder: Does it go to you know Rochester Telephone Company, who's uh, helping uh, you know giving us tech support and working with us and supporting us? No, it goes. It stays right here at home. So. If that's something that you're kind of burdened with, um, you know, reach out. Yeah, it'll, uh, you know, the students are going to benefit from it. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing, Captain. So it's like Scales is going to start off serving for the Lady Comets. So 2-0 in favor of the Lady Comets. Winamac looking for a run here in set number three. Scales serve. It's going to be taken by Kaya Campbell. Party ball. Party ball, but they're going to get her in the net. So Winamac is going to catch a break. Who's that? Madison Smith? Yeah. Just got a little too excited. Pretty excited. She, <laughs> I think her eyeballs got really big. She saw that ball kind of floating up there. <laughs> Peacock was all over it. Yes, he was. He don't miss anything at the net. No, he do, he's he watches it like a like a peacock. Like 
Back to Smith, and that's going to be deep. So the Warriors, a little momentum here. Let's see Kaya wrap off seven or eight here. Set one, she started off the serve for the Warriors with five in a row. Nice serve by Kaya. Oh. Really well placed ball. Very right well in soft placed. Spot. Wasn't hit overly hard, just right where it needed to be. Harsh is going to come out of the game for Delaney Lowry, Delaney uh, Jr., setter. An errant pass there by the Warriors, and that's going to tie it at two. Four serving Finky. Chloe Roush couldn't get it across. Reagan. Reagan. Hit by Reagan. Ooh, party, party ball, ball in, the in the net, says yeah. the Peacock. Warriors tie it. Three to three. And Haley adding her back to serve. Nice serve by Haley. Smith can put it down. Not a lot you can do with that. No, nah, that was a good hit, man. Here comes Harness, who served a lot. Yeah, we really struggled during the last that. set. And she's going to serve it out, so that helps. Yeah, it's nice to see her not serving anymore. <laughs> it's going to tie it up at four. <clears throat> Comes Alyssa. Oh, and the casting bench or fan is barking. Williamson. Good job by the Lady Warriors to save that. Yeah, good recovery. Oh mercy. Smith, yeah, when she gets a she gets going like that. Not a lot you can do. That was good, good pass that set up that uh, set. Set. And Smith back to serve. Kinsey to the back row. Scales put that one down. Right. <laughs> Comet's really, after winning the first two, playing with a lot of confidence. Yes. Here, Shay. They, they can afford to take some chances. Seven to four in favor of the Comets. We're just going to get it over. We're just get the block. But it's going to be blocked out of bounds. Eight four. Winamac running out of time here. They need to get some momentum. It's it seems like there's just one one girl for casting that goes back and serves off a whole bunch, you know, and we've seen it all three games. Four to nine in favor of the Comets. Madison Smith's really played well tonight. Yes, she has. Casting. She's going to serve that in the net. Yeah. 
You know, just as I complimented her, she put one in the net. I need to start complimenting these girls. compliment them all, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe Roush back to serve for the Warriors. I'm not going to compliment Chloe. I don't want to jinx her. There's a block Good by block McKenzie. By Great oh job my. by the Comets. And Mack party with ball. the party ball. Mack is on the attack. The big Mack attack there. You know, we're going to post that replay to uh, Twitter. It's hard to share replays on volleyball. And Scales is going to put it down. It's like Harsh and Finky into the game. What's up, guys? That's some visitors up here in the consulate. Harsh with the serve. Good pass by Reagan. McKenzie puts it down. And Scales is going to be out. Ooh! I guess that one was in. The shot of uh, Russell and Ella. Mm. And Coach Brunel is going to call a timeout. The Warriors chasing six. What do you think, Tim? Well, you know, I'm actually going to try a replay here. Well, Rich would be proud. Yep, let's give it a shot. Why can't I do this? Open. So when I hit custom, it should go to the Winamac replay. And it doesn't. Download. Update. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I have to ask old Steve Stricker, my friend. He'll get that, you uh, straightened out. He will. He gets. He just gets the job done. And he does it for the people, Shay. Good hit by Kaya. Williamson. Off their fingertips into the net, so I'll go back to the Lady Warriors. So coach's kill in favor of uh, Coach Brunell. I wonder if that's her first coach's kill. It might be. I don't remember tonight. the last game, if she had any or not. It should definitely be a stat. I think it should be, too. Party ball, oh my. McKenzie. And McKenzie got too excited about yeah. that one. Back to serve. Nice pass. Right, Campbell blocked. Good job by McKenzie, and she's going to send it over. Good set. That one might have went out of bounds. A little close to it's tell. A tough one to tell. It's coming that quick. Scales off her fingertips, and it's going to go to the Warriors. Warriors chasing five. Jewel Connor back to serve. Smith over Connor back over the net. Warriors had a pretty decent block up there, just went out of bounds. 14 to 8 in favor of the Comets. Scales back to serve. Scales to Connor. It's going to be out of bounds. Another one might have been a little close to tell. Yeah. You just you got about a split second to decide, you know. And 
Well, I can't even decide yeah. after it happened whether or not it was in I, or out. I think you'd rather have him go for it. Let me give a freebie. Yeah. I'm just going to get it over. Jewel Connor couldn't quite get it over from the back by the line. So 16 to 8, 16 bad guys. Eight. Scale still serving. Top spin on that serve. <laughs> just nice kind of rolled down. Yeah, Smith. just rolled down the net and fell on the Warriors' side. Kenzie Hines going to come back into the game. Gale's going to serve that one into the net and make it 9 to 17. We'll go back to the Warriors. Kaya Campbell back to serve. See Kaya rack off 5 or 6 right here. Winnemack not out of it. 17 no. to 9? No. 8 points and a. You're and never that's, out that's of doable. it. doable. Nice serve by Kaya. I like the sound effects by the yeah. cast and cheer block. Winnemack got a hand on it, and it just fell in behind him. Number 24 back into the game, Delaney Lowry. The eight back to serve, Kenzie Mollenkoff. He's served by Mollenkoff. Reagan needed to take a step back. That was coming in hot. Chloe Roush, nice pass. Right back to Chloe. Melissa put it down. Another nice job by the Comets to Smith. Smith. Pretty close like, Yeah, it looked pretty close. I don't know. What do you think, Tim? I, I couldn't tell. We can actually see it on the replay here in a minute. We remember which one it is. All right, so let's take a look at this one. <clears throat> I think we'll get the replay. We just don't get our fancy replay thing. Let's slow that down. Looked out. I think, I think it might have been in. Okay. I think it caught some of the line. Let's back it up. Where did that bear it is? There, coming in. Why did it keep slipping off here? Come on. We could zoom in on it. It stops right when I get to it. What the heck? Let's, let's do the slow motion. Let's try it like that. Uh, all right, watch this. Here's the shot. Maybe not. It's going too slow. <laughs> you know what? Let's just... Cut well, back to the game here. It was close. Was that one was out? That was out. See, we're gonna figure out this like that slow mo business. It did look a little bit on the outside. If it caught the line, it wasn't by much. And Smith puts that one down. Yeah, she hit that hard. This Smith's a really nice player. Comes Harness back to serve. Party ball. And Williamson was pretty excited. He's, they see that coming. Yeah, they got a lot of time to think about yep. it. I'm going to play like that. There's Colby Wegner. Our cheer block slowly getting populated. Yeah, we got five over there now. Going to be a carry, maybe? Oh, we're going to get two hits. Oh, my. That's, that's the first, first time first that's one. happened tonight. First one tonight. 
feel like that isn't getting called as much as it could be. Or as much as it has been in the past. Yeah. Bam. Williamson out. out of bounds. So here come the Lady Warriors. Good guys are on the move. That's four. That wasn't a block, but. You know. Good set. Here's Mac. And Smith out oh. of bounds. Winamac right back in this 21 to 14. So a little momentum for the Lady Warriors here. I'm pro momentum. Like a Smith. potential double hit. Yeah. Some from the back row and another one for Winnemac. Alyssa. Stay with stay with Winnemac. Yep. Alyssa getting the job done. Oh. I almost said nice serve. I just hit the tape. We got Chloe up next to serve. Yep. Chloe had a nice run last time. 22-15 in favor of the Comets. Smith serving to Alyssa. This is going to miss hit it. 23-15. I feel like there should be a nickname for a miss hit. Maybe you can Google it. See, Maybe a I'm misfit. Sure. I'm sure there is. How about a misfit? Okay. Kenzie quite get it down. Oh, no, no. I couldn't see it. Our banner was in the way. Must have been in. So 24-15. Smith back to serve. And she's going to put it into the net. So the Warriors. Here's their last chance they're right hanging here, on. Captain. They're hanging on. You know, this would make a great story. Remember the time we played cast and we're down two sets to nothing. 24 to 16 in the third set. And we came all the way back, stole, won the third set, and stole, took the next two. Stole the momentum. That's going to be hit out of bounds. And that's where it starts. Just need eight more. The mule watching. Intently down on the, you know he needs to floor. Williamson blocked, Great block Good by, block uh, by McKenzie. Mac. Twenty-four eighteen. Mac not going out quietly. No, they're not. It's a good sign. I like signs. Williamson tipped to Kaya. Set to Mac. Good recovery by party ball. Nice McKenzie. job by McKenzie to finish off the party ball. That was a joust at the Oh, net. that's right. You know what? It Boom. is a joust. I remembered that. Yeah. You said that with such it. fervor. Catson's going to take a timeout. Well, you know what? They ought to. But there's only, you know, you can't get a coach's kill every time. So we we need to track that and keep percentages. Yeah, because you got to think that there's a reason why they call a timeout because mm -hmm. it obviously favors the dis like it creates a disruption. Right. Just so you think it works more times than not, but by what percent? Yeah, that's something we probably ought to track. Yeah, and should there be something happening during the coach's kill? Like, should if the cheer block was getting really wound up and barking like they have been <laughs> at different points, would that like impact the coach's the kill. probability of the coach's kill being successful? I don't know. Good job by McKenzie. Yeah. Kind of stay focused. She doesn't want to go home yet. Good pass set. And McKenzie with yeah. another one. So McKenzie's really putting it on here. 20 to 24. That's four in a row. No pressure on the junior, Chloe Roush. No, at this point, I think you just get the ball in, you know. From scales. Deep. Get that way out of bounds. 
21-24. What was it, 24 to maybe 17 when this started, 14? No, I think it was like, yeah, 14. And Fridell just gets it over. Ooh, that was almost tricky. That's wow, block. great block by. They're going to get Kasten in the net. Nope, nope. Somebody, somebody. I think it was Kasten in the net. see the Peacock's call, though. Top hat. He's, it's getting exciting. And top hat, he, he had to move down by the door. Yep. Nice job by Alyssa. Need a big hit by Melissa, or Alyssa, she does. Deep. Oh, what are they going to get? They're going to get McKenzie into the hit. net again. No, nope, McKenzie into the net, and that's going to do it. So Winamac, nice run at the end, Tim. You know what? That's something to build on. And hopefully they can, they can carry that over to their next match. So the final tonight at Winamac, Lady Comets three and the Warriors none. But they showed some life. And you know what? What impresses me in that uh, that third set, Shay, is that they got down pretty deep, mm -hmm. and they'd already lost two, but they kept their heads up, and they continued continue to battle and put a really good run in on the end. Yeah, they so. didn't go away. A lot of things for the, for the coaches to build on, I think, there, yeah. you know. And it's just uh, maybe putting it all together. There was, you know, some lapses in the middle where they – more consistent, so if they can put that together, they're going to be a tough team to beat. And they'll, they'll keep working, and, and uh, well, hopefully. When, when are they going to be at full strength? Do we think, right. like, is it next week we should have everybody back, or do I we hope, even really know? I would hope. Barring no more. Yeah, so hopefully they, they can build on that and put it together come tournament, tournament, tournament time. Well, you know, when, it, when is tournament time? I'm not sure. I think it's probably coming up here. I'd say so. Okay. It's a good shot of us in yeah. the consulate. <laughs> Tim's, so you like that? Tim's I, like a wizard on this. Well, you He's know what? Switching I'm a little distracted, <laughs> but I think that's good. Yeah. It's going to make us have to pay attention to what we look like <laughs> when we come to these. I'm going to try to keep us honest. Well, I really am glad that uh, that you guys joined us tonight. I had fun. It would have been funner with a Winamac dub. Right. Um, and uh, But we're going to see more of those as the, the season rolls on. Um, so we're one and one in the conference. Mm-hmm. Um, respectable. Um, uh, one and two at this point with tonight's loss. I thought we were one and oh before tonight. We were one, they were one and oh. We were one and one. Oh, I miss I miss her. So, that. That's okay. It is okay. And you know what? I might have said it wrong. I don't know. That's a good question. Well, let's see if I can figure this part out. Well, thanks a lot for tuning in tonight. Um, we had fun. We hope you did, too. And, uh, gosh, I don't know. Do you know when our next game that we're broadcasting I, is? I we did, were going to do the uh, – no, LaVille was away, so it's not like we would have been doing the LaVille game on Friday. Let me, let me see. Our next volleyball game is uh, on the 23rd of this month, and that's okay. at home versus Pioneer. Okay. Um, I think that's the next time we announce. So – so we have nothing until then. Nothing until the 23rd. At least that we know of. Yeah, unless something pops up. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. And uh, thank you.